Hello, everyone. I've got eight slides to show for Western Branch. And we've got the notice here from the newspaper saying that the post office will open Western Branch and Kowloon in 1898. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, you're okay. I'm not going to do a history of this because Richard has done an excellent article on the history of Western yeah, yeah. Branch in the Hong Kong Study Circle. Good night. But I am going to show some of the... Mm. Hola, bye-bye. This is a postcard dated 1909, and you'll notice that Western Branch uh, this time it's not was not cancelling its own mail, they were using a date stamp. Yeah, it was cancelled at the GPO, the, the index letter is letter F, which means it was posted late in the day, and therefore it's been cancelled at the GPO the following day. And it was sent to Germany. This is the picture side showing Hong Kong Island and the peak. Perhaps some of those who are more familiar with the place will be able to tell me whether I'm right or not in thinking that that's the general area where Western Branch Post Office was or whether it was slightly to the right to the west of this area. The next two covers I'm showing to England to the same address, sent on the same day, the 7th of June, 1912. Again, the hand stamp has been used merely as a date stamp and hasn't cancelled the adhesives. I'm here. One was incorrect, Frank, 10 cents, which was, of course, the UPU rate. The index letter shows it was posted early in the day, index letter A, and it was cancelled at the GPO the same day. This one correctly franked four cents and index letter F meant that it was posted late in the day and was not cancelled at the GPO till the following day. In 1914, the name was changed to Shumwan, but they carried on using the Western branch hand stamps. They don't seem to have spent money at the post office unless they really needed to, and they kept the same hand stamps. And this is one of the Western branch hand stamps. And this time they're actually cancelling the mail. When they changed over and were allowed to cancel their own mail, I don't know. If anybody can tell me at the end, I'd be very pleased to hear. This one's gone to the USA and was cancelled, um, uh, Frank, with 10 cents. Cancelled the GPO the same day. Finally, I'm, I'm going showing to two registered ones. They, they also, also use the Hong Kong, Hong Kong Western, Western Branch hand stamp. This one, this cover is franked 20 cents, 10 cents for the UPU letter rate and 10 cents for the registration fee. It took a month to get to Michigan. They appear to have used this hand stamp right through the 1920s, proud as it used until 1929. And this is a similar one sent to China, four cents for the letter rate this time. When they actually started using Xiong Wan registration labels, I'm not sure the earliest recorded date I have found is 1932. 
So whether they introduced it earlier than that, I don't know. I don't think that there was a, a Shung Wan registration hand stamp, but perhaps anyone who's listening might be able to tell me that one. Right. Right. Thank you. That's, um, I will stop sharing now. Thank you, Susan. Yes, yeah. lovely collection of covers um, of Shang Wan and Western Branch. And uh, I love the, uh, the WB registration marking. Um, anybody got any questions for uh, Susan? Oh, Simon, yes. Question? Well, uh, Susan, uh, in, in fact, uh, maybe uh, you can do some research uh, about the relationship between the index letters and the corresponding uh, time slots. In, in fact, I, I've done similar thing for, for current branch, but not for Western branch. So yeah, if, if you have started something, yeah, maybe you, you can start uh, to see whether they, they, they represent the same kind of time slots uh, uh, similar to the current branch. I think that's the first thing. The second thing, as you have also mentioned, um, the, the Western branch seems that um, the only registration hand stamp uh, recorded uh, is the one with uh, Hong Kong and then WB. Mm -hmm. And uh, but that uh, the, the usage range is uh, between 1920 and 1929. But what about the years prior to 1920? I think yeah. I I, in fact, I, I I am doing some research on on, on that matter, but I do not have any. Uh, uh, Except answer yes, but uh, in fact I have, I have some some ideas in mind, but I'm not sure at this stage. And in, in fact, I, I am quite sure that they, uh, sh uh, the Western Plan Office should have a registration hand stamp. Uh, uh, well, a version after it has opened, or, or even on the first day when when it was opened in in, in uh, 1898. Yeah, that's what I want to comment. Thank you. Okay, so just haven't got any more. Yeah. Find any more, yes. Yeah, right. Any questions? Hmm. Anyhow, Charles speaking. Yeah. Hello. Uh, well, in response to uh, Simon's uh, 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 poem, so just a few moments ago. I think in ninety uh, eight, both the Kowloon branch and Western branch open, but it is really, really rare or, or I, I cannot recall whether we have seen re early register cover from current branch or Western branch in the turn of the century. No, I haven't seen anything. Is it the point is that will those registration letter need to be posted in uh, CPO Central? Perhaps. Or else, I, 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 I don't know, maybe pending for research. Thank you. Well, uh, in fact, uh, my, my current uh, knowledge or my uh, current uh, uh, thinking is that um, Kowloon branch uh, was having its own registration hand stamp. Uh, in, in fact, it is uh, the one uh, very, very uh, 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 badly worn uh, one, the, 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 the square, uh, oh, no, no, not, not the rectangular one, uh, which was uh, used in GPO and then transferred to Kowloon branch. And, and there, there, in fact, there's a record uh, of, of an example uh, with that registration hand stamp uh, in red. And uh, if I remember correctly, uh, it was uh, that that example was posted in 1900, and uh, yeah, and 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 then uh, I have a few examples. In fact, I have several examples uh, from from 19 or something to uh, in fact 19 uh, 20 something using that registration hand stamp. And then it changed it to an, an, another one in 1922 or 23, something like that. And I believe similar thing happens in the Western branch. Uh, sorry, Simon. Uh, mm -hmm. What you just saying that is the R in circle 
in red ink. No, 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 no. A uh, rectangle, a uh, rectangle one. Rectangle one in uh, red ring inking. Yes. No, uh, not necessarily. Mm. One of the curly R. Yeah. It's very odd one with the curly R and and some on. Uh, in, in fact, I, I I can share an example in in the late uh usage stage of of the rectangle R. Do I do I? Uh, 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 one one or two minutes to share yeah, that example. All. all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just a minute. Well, while well, Simon's finding his file, I think one of the interesting things is that if you try and compare what happened at Kowloon and what happened at uh, Western branches, then you will soon turn yourself. Uh, insane because <laughs> <there's>, <laughs> because because there is no correlation <laughs> they seem to have the uh, clerks seem to have just done whatever they wanted to do huh. anyway oh, okay uh can, can you see my screen yeah okay yeah i think that's the one. Um, this is with, Yes, with the R in rectangle. Eh. I think nope. this registration hand stem have been used in current brands for for uh, around twenty years. We're seeing the Aberdeen screen. It's not the. Uh, oh really? It's not yours, Simon. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um. Wow. I think Susan or. Richard, Richard has to stop sharing. I have to, yeah. a long time ago. So then I don't know how that <laughs> come out. <laughs> okay, then let me try to share again. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's happening. Hey, John can share. John is gone. No, no. <laughs> so John, you are sharing? Strange at the moment. Well, that was very strange. <laughs> you guys. Easy to Technology. press the So computer. What should I do now? <laughs> <laughs> Show it in the third Simon? session. Simon. Do you see in the bottom of the screen that it's a, it's a, a, green, a, a green a green button, button share screen? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's coming. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You, you, you can see. Okay. Now we got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's 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 the R in the rectangle. You see, that's uh, ninety twenty two. Yeah. In, in fact, that restaurant has has not been used uh during the early stage of the turn of the century. Mm -hmm. Initially, it was in red, and and the example that I, I recorded uh, uh, was associated with the large KB, and and then when uh, the small KB started uh, uh, deployed for use in 1902, then uh, yeah, and, and that hand stem was still uh, being used in the counter branch. Yeah, that, that's what I want to share, and we respond to Charles' question. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, right. So uh, I think uh, it's uh, Sam. Sam's turn next about um, some uh, wall covers, branch office cover. Sam. I will start sharing screen. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so I wasn't going to do anything <laughs> until Richard asked me to. So, you know, and uh, really, I, you know, this is a, this is an area that was so challenging, I did not venture to. But since I was exhibiting wartime airmail, I guess I had to. And I start uh, fighting against many people, maybe even on here, to, for those covers. 
So, so of course, the first one is Kowloon. So that's not necessarily a branch office. And I just want to thank Richard here uh, because both Richard and Duncan has been, you know, feeding me data on their census. So, okay, so one again, you know, is there, is it a branch office or it isn't? So it is a branch office. And uh, as, as of yesterday or day before, you know, Richard was telling me that he has recorded 17 of those covers of which eight, you know, are the register covers. So, you know, I'm lucky to get this one as register. And you can even see there's a red LR, you know, small red LR in there, which are pretty scarce. So, so Wan Chai, I wasn't able to get any registered cover in here. And, uh, you know, Richard is telling me that this is a really scarce animal with only three recorded. So uh, Happy Valley is one chai. Andrew, another doctor, do you know of this doctor? <laughs> anyway, uh, this I put away and uh, cause the other ones I wasn't, you know, they sent from GPO register, no big deal. But because this was a Stanley one and register, I've been put, I put it away in my branch office and I totally forgot about it until one day I was going through it and, and saw this. So, you know, surprisingly, uh, Richard tells me this is the lone register example. So if others have register example, this is during the wartime, September 39 to end of 41. Uh, please send Richard a record of front and back so he could update the census. So. This is very surprising uh, the, you know, of course, I love the Stanley label. I love the branch office label. So only 19 recorded so far. And uh, Richard update his record as of yesterday because I sent him this. So I had two more and uh, from Stanley, but both of them weren't registered. So Kowloon City only four airmail covers, and then two of them are registered. So I, you know, other than the non-airmail one, I haven't collect, collected any of the non-airmail ones. So I could only supply you, you know, Kowloon Tong of which 11, you know, recorded covers. So some soy bowl. Some sort of, there's 13 recorded cover of which six of them are registered cover. So those two here, you know, the registered cover again has a small red L uh, and uh, this one is fancy. I really like that. Another some sort of registered cover. Cheong Zhao in quotes or bracket. So the only indication that this is is because it's Changzhou Island on here. And uh, of course, this is rare. So Richard at one point was telling me there was none. Now he has free record. So I'm saying that obviously a lot of people were from Changzhou was bringing it to Central to be sent there. And uh, this one, you know, Richard even is saying it is questionable because it went to Hankow. So during wartime, there was hardly any flight going that way because a lot of the flights or most of the flights were going to, to Chongqing. So uh, this was very specific, you know, Shanghai, Hankou. So it went to, did this go by, you know, uh, service to Shanghai? And then did it go by any, uh, because, from Shanghai onwards, that was Japanese occupation. So there was no flight going out from Shanghai to Hankow. So it's even questionable if this was an airmail cover. So last of all, I want to show you and ask anybody, is anybody keeping tab on what the uh, branch office receivers doing wartime? because those must be pretty scarce animal. I mean, I tried to track down any record of it, but uh, failed to.
because I guess a lot of Hong Kong collectors, you know, don't even collect incoming mail. So, you know, R Richard knows uh, the, the Aikens, uh, Mrs. Aiken, and she, you know, her, you know, Mr. Aiken's work for Shell on Castle Peak, you know. So this is of course from, guess what, Canada. And uh, it has the in long uh, marking. So, you know, I've been asking anybody. So if uh, after this, if somebody could comment on if they're keeping tap on it and how scarce this is. So this of course say is in long, it stays in long, but you know, is that the closest post office? If somebody could help me, really appreciate it. And uh, Andrew asked me to do an advertising because I'm presenting uh, Canada Sea Force and its forerunner at the this they call it a display, not a presentation, and our PS London. So if you need an invite, you know you could be a guest if you're not a member. Contact me at chillsam at hotmail. Give me your email. And then I, I would try to get you the, a, they call it a ticket, which is an access to the Zoom meeting. So thank you. Yes, thank you. Well, worth it. So remember, January the 7th. Uh, but uh, please uh, write to uh, Sam well before that, because there's, I think there's a deadline for uh, closing date for the, for, the, for the link to be sent. Andrew, Sam, I registered, I registered for this uh, just as a guest. I couldn't be bothered uh, logging in <laughs> to my RPSL account. And I, and I logged in and got the ticket and everything as a guest, just okay. on the website. Right. So should be no, right. No need to give an invitation uh, from a member. Right. Good. That's good. So, uh, Duncan, have you got something to show? Yes. 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 Wow. <laughs> I, I put this one up because I think it's one of my favorite covers. Uh, cover from Kowloon City going to the Rare Union in the Indian Ocean. Yes. Uh, such a rare destination, it doesn't actually figure in the Hong Kong Post Office Guide. Mm -hmm. And the cover was charged the fee to a non African destination, which was $1.20 per half ounce. Fortunately, it's been fully back stamped, so you can follow the full routing of it. It was flown out on HB 102 and then connected at Bangkok with Sydney Westbound 70. At Alexandria, it was switched to the African service. And from my point of view, it has a, a double interest because the aircraft carrying it southbound, Canopus, developed engine trouble at Khartoum. And there was a two day delay for mail. And I do that collect interruptions. Mm. Eventually, a relief aircraft, Capella, flew the cover onto Lorenco Marks. It was offloaded there held until the uh, Clan McKinley sailed for Mauritius on the 7th of February. On arrival in Mauritius, it was switched to the Messagerie Maritime vessel, Le Comte de Lille, and finally reached Réunion on the 22nd of February. I think it's rather nice to get such a clear strike of a branch office on a cover that you can follow fully and fully research in detail. So a short but uh, interesting cover. Hmm. Well, actually, uh, if, if you want to share the cover again, more interestingly, you can see the Chinese oh, mark, Andrew. the red mark on the Chinese hand. Oh, you, oh, you muted, Andrew. Andrew. Ah, yeah, oh, sorry, sorry. I haven't muted myself. No. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 No, it's, it's quite interesting that I spotted there's a red mark about uh, a, a soya sauce company. Andrew. Your, your cover to the union. Duncan, your cover that you just shown. Yeah. yeah, the cover that you just shown to reunion. Yeah, want to show it again? I can't get it to move, but my just so I can look, increase it. Oh, 
。啊，好啊，如果收嘢就撳翻呢個撳一位。一落。Right. Good day. 好嘅，誒，我我我會聽，誒，係係係 ，Charles Charles， 你你有冇嘢要講？有，我係只係兩樣嘢要講，好嘅，嗯。Can you see see that? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, share screen. No, Joe, get the video. Can't even see your face. My video is in trouble. Therefore, uh -oh. I'm trying to. <laughs> Can you share the screen now? No. Yep. Sorry, I think my video will be in trouble. <laughs> you can get yourself a new yeah, so. computer. <laughs> yeah, so for Charles. Okay. Okay. All right, we cannot. Can Sorry. No, we can wait for a while. Okay. Uh, PM, you got something to show? Doctor. Doctor, may I show? Doctor, may I show something? Yeah, sure, go on. Yeah. Okay, please wait right a moment. Ah. Oh, it's done, it's done, it's done. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Charles. Charles, please. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you yeah. see my... Uh, see, see, see. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I have uh, just a few items to show. Okay. Uh, first one will be the current branch large KB. It is on a uh, uh, S type A with index F struck on a five cents of physical. What amount is a multi crown block CA, not the script CA one. Okay. The day is the 24th. June 1910. Mm. That's a very interesting one. Okay. Is it clear? Uh, were you seeing that? Very clear. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The next item I want to share will be the Western Blanche, the large WB. Okay, you can see. Uh, it is an error for the month with a figure 14. And the day is a fit one five. The year will be nine eight. It is on a thirty cents on thirty cents green. That's uh, quite interesting. That uh, I don't know what month it will be referred to. It was <laughs> fourteen. I don't know. I, I cannot guess. <laughs> fourteen, fifteen, ninety eight. Okay. Okay. And the usual day format for this uh, 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 type A large uh, WB will be MMDDYY, mm. month, day, and year. Yeah. Okay. W Blanche. I think uh, if someone we can record that, I, I I got it in eBay. I think it's twenty years ago. I think okay, more than, maybe more than that. Okay, twenty something years ago. And uh, I got this uh, strip of four, and uh, there, there would be another block of four. Uh, it is also sold in eBay at that moment of time, similar time. And I think, uh, well, for this, uh, for this uh, cancel, uh, W Blanche cancel. I think it's a quite scare on uh, or even where on uh, QE issues. Uh, the cancel is not clear. I can only can see the figure for the for the day is a one, maybe ten. Okay, one o. Is it November, o six or o seven? 
and the type C usual day format will be day, month, and year below. And uh, this uh, this this type C day stamp uh, W dot branch, I think was in use in uh, 06 to 07. Therefore, uh, it can be on QE because as per plow, uh, the use of a QV stamp in Merlet on May, uh, uh, on 1st of May, 1909. It's spelled out on his uh, uh, branch uh, PO in the Far East, page 237. Okay, that's okay. all I show you guys, okay? Thank right. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Any questions? No? Okay, so uh, uh, BM is your turn now. Yes, thank you. I... Yeah. So the the cut of the Chenjo before. Please write the woman. Right, uh, Charles, can you? Um... I'm trying to to do all the the things, but you know, you know, how how to do? Ah. I want to come go over. Okay. 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 Can you do it? How can I do it? <laughs> Let me see. Maybe you can. Uh... Okay, chop me out. Chop okay. me out first. Oh, yeah, okay. You can come yeah. back. Okay. Yeah. Please wait a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Folder, Oh, yeah. yes. The first type of chen chong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have a lot to, I don't have too much research. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Long Island near Hong Kong, the, the center. Well, it's very interesting to write that. How record is the last day of use for Taiwan? The delivery notices at that time referred to Chung Chow as Long Island yeah. as well. It's interesting. Interesting. Very nice. Okay. Wow. Mm. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah, uh, Thai free cancel on postage stamps. And this one and the Thai two is the invert invert month. J A. Invert month. Can you see? Can you can you see? Yeah, yeah. very nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, and uh, the last one I want to show is maybe a free step, free cancel. The the year lot becomes AU. Uh. Yeah. Huh. You see the view or a fake one? I think you can blame the policeman. <laughs> <laughs> they, do, they do these all over the place. <laughs> that's all. That's all. 
Bye, everyone. So, thank you. Very nice. That's a nice one. That one. That's a nice one, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Maybe a free, free, step, free cancel. But you can't date. Yeah. You just don't know what, what year it is now. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yes. Um, well, we, we've got about three minutes left. So who's got something quick? Engel, you got something quick? Um, it might take a bit more than three minutes, but not much. I can go quick. Yes. OK, why not? Yeah. You want to try? Yeah, I'm just sharing. OK, okay so I've got something similar to what Sam has. Great minds think alike. The only thing is, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't aware of the census of these um, pre-war King George VI branch office covers. Here's a Chang Chao going to Cameroon uh, surface. It's the uh, print, printed matter rate. It looks like it was missionary mail opened by censor. I don't know where that censor is. It's not a Hong Kong one. It, it's, it could it have been in the UK or? Mm. Not sure. Uh, then I've got a Kowloon City all up right to New Zealand, 1938, 39. Another Kowloon City surface mail, 30 cents to USA. Um, Kowloon Tong air mail. This one I don't think I remembered. I had when Richard, when you ask for the census, yeah. I don't think I sent I sent this one, so I can share it with you if you want. Yes, please. A um, couple of Sham Shui Po surface mail, uh, another surface mail. This one was multiple times redirected from Philippines to Australia, but there's no markings except the Australian receiver. Sheng Wan. Kind of ugly cover, but still, Shengwan 1940, surface going to Singapore. Thank you, Sam, for the translation. Uh, a Stanley, uh, I like this one because it's going to the Nighthawk of KZRH Radio, Voice of the Philippines. It was probably a request for a song to be played. Mm -hmm. And finally, a couple of Yao Matis. Uh, Surface mail to the US 30.